Hello friends, Mr. Lures here for another tech video. This is how to use your Google accounts in Clever and how to access them. So same thing as before, you always come here to the remote learning portal and click on it. And as you see here, you have your apps. The first thing I'm going to show you is Google Calendar. So if you click on here to Google Calendar, right here at the app, it's going to bring you right to your day. And as you can see, my calendar pops up. And you can see what days, what meetings I have, and, your, and when I have to go to each meeting. So you can see if I click, I'm not going to click on it because I don't want to show you who's in it. But if you had a math group at 1040, you'd be able to click on this. And notice here, you'd be able to join with Google Meet. And that would be the Meet you would join. As right here, we have our daily live classroom. You could click on there with Google Meets. And if you have an ELA group, you can click on those with your Google Meets and you can see what times you have. This is a really good tool for your kids to go in at least once a day, maybe after the live lesson in the morning or before, to see when or if you have any meetings today. I could assign meetings, other teachers could assign meetings. So you might have other meetings with not just me. So you always want to check this daily. It's a really good tool to use to make sure you're on time to everything. I should mention that if it says you're starting at 145. If you show up at 146, most likely you are late. So you always want to try to get there a minute or two early because most teachers are trying to start on time. Next thing I'm going to show you is Google Classroom. So if you click on Google Classroom, same thing, the app, you are going to get a screen eventually that loads and it looks like this for me. If I change the screen to a student, you're just going to get one thing that looks like this with my class. So you're going to click on my class. You're going to notice that I have an autobiography assignment. So if you click on it, it'll bring you to the assignment. What you'll notice here in the middle, it'll, it has directions and versions that I shared with them, but they can't edit. But if you look over here, they have their autobiography work and the assignments that they have to turn in. They could add something as well. They could send me a private comment. And here's where they turn things in. So this is where they would go for their Google Classroom. Again, really easy for them to kind of figure out. They just have to know how to do that. If they ever want to go back, if they have more classes, they can click over here and see they can go back to the home page. So this is how they use Google Classroom. Last thing I want to show you is your email. So I'll click out of this. Same thing, if you hit the Google button right down here, notice over here in the right hand screen, it says Gmail. I'm also gonna show you here, if you click on these little nine squares, these are also places where you can get to your calendar, Google Classroom, if you wanna make um, a document or something like that. Um, if you Once we get going here and you need to find photos you upload, you can find photos right here. So this is another spot where they have all these fun apps that you can get. But you can either click on there for Gmail, or I'm going to click right here for Gmail. And you're going to notice, again, there's all mine. I'm going to switch accounts. And if you notice here, this is what the student's Gmail looks like. And you can see here, I've sent invitations for meetings, so if you have any of these, you want to go in and click, for example, I go into this email, and if you scroll down here and you say yes, that will put the meeting on your calendar for the day. So you want to make sure you're going into your email and doing that, because that's how you get all your emails, on, or all your meetings on your Google Calendar. So these three tools are really important for you to use to keep focused and to know where you need to be. And if you have any questions on what, was gone o what we went over in this video, you can contact me or your classroom teacher. As for now, my name is Mr. Lures. If you have any other questions about technology that you might want a video for, email me and let me know and I can try to get one up there. Thanks friends, have a great day.